What is it like to buy a home in Austin, Texas right now? A lot of our clients are asking that question as we get into the end of the year. They want to know, should I buy now or should I wait until 2025? So in this market minute, I'm going to break down what the data is actually showing right now. I'm going to tell you what kind of deals our clients are getting so that way you can make an informed decision. <laughs> So I just got the stats from the local Austin Board of Realtors and in Travis County, which is our main county that encompasses most of Austin and the suburbs, the median price went down month over month to 500,000. So this year has followed the same pattern that we typically see every year. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I repeat myself in every market update because I always say that we have a very seasonal market. So usually in the springtime, that's when most families are moving. A lot of it has to do with the school season. So prices go up usually from like March till June or so. And then once we hit midsummer, the prices start to go down happens every single year this year is no different so the good thing is that if you buy towards the end of the year that's usually the best months where buyers get the most deals and best opportunities think of it as getting any of the houses for sale at a discount right now now something else that's impacting the market and making it a little slower this year is the fact that we are in an election season so generally a lot of people are just distracted the couple months before the election they don't want to make a huge financial purchase they just want to see like what's going to happen with the economy and where the government policies are headed but the year after an election and if you look back at history is usually a stronger year for the housing market so 2025 should actually be a stronger year in housing expect prices will probably go up a little bit in the spring as they always do but they might even go up a little bit more because more families should be moving if history repeats itself so if you're able to buy right now you can take advantage of the fact that there's less buyers out there we have a ton of inventory in fact it's the most inventory i have seen since i've been an agent in austin so this shows that we have 6.7 months of inventory to explain what that means. It basically means if no one listed a house for the rest of this year, or just never listed again, it would take 6.7 months to sell off all the available houses for sale right now that are online. So that's an incredible amount of homes to pick from. Usually if the inventory is higher than six months, we could say it's starting to become a buyer's market. So buyers definitely have a lot of negotiating power, especially in this last quarter of 2024. Now to give you an idea of how much you can bargain on average, homes are selling for 92.3% of the original list price. So on average, again, there could be some lower or higher, a lot of people are getting about seven and a half percent or so off the initial asking price. Now, some homeowners might list their home very low and we are still seeing some multiple offers here and there. Some people are getting really close to asking price. It really just depends on how the homeowner individually priced their home. But if you can see a home that's been sitting a really long time, you have a lot better chance to bargain and negotiate that price down. Now let's talk days on market. Homes are definitely sitting and to show you how slow the market is. The average days on market is 80 days. So if you're also searching sites and you know, looking at homes and going, Oh, there's that one's been sitting for 85, 90 days. There must be something wrong with that property. No, it just means that the seller probably priced it a little too high, which a majority of people are still doing. There's tons of competition. And that's just how long things are taking to sit right now. So don't let days on market scare you. Be excited by that because usually if a property sat for a couple months, you have a much better chance of negotiating that price down. Now, if you're willing to go a little further out into the suburbs and shop for some new construction homes, that's where our clients are getting the absolute best deals. Um, the builders have so much inventory right now and even just available land to build on. And it doesn't really matter if you're like up in Georgetown, out in Dripping Springs or wherever, there's just so much opportunity right now with new construction. And on top of being willing to slash the price, throw in incentives, most builders have special rates that they can get with their preferred lender. So even though rates right now are like 6.65% or so, 
Um, we've gotten clients under contract with 4.99% interest rates that are like fixed for 30 years. Um, some builders are doing three, two, one buy downs, which means that you get a discount on the rate for the first three years. It's a way of saving you hundreds a month on your monthly payments. And then the idea is you can refi when you feel like it, when rates start to go back down a little farther. So there's incredible opportunities right now. And um, most of our buyers recently have gone the new construction route because it's just so hard to beat a brand new home at a huge discount with a low rate. But if you definitely want to be in an older established part of town, closer to the city of Austin, where you're not going to find all the new builds, you can still get lower rates by asking the uh, homeowner for concessions. So in some cases, our homeowners ask for closing costs, maybe 8,000, 10,000 or so. And you can use that to then buy your rate down with a lender and get one of those discounts or buy downs. So there's lots of opportunity right now, whichever way you want to go, if you're wanting to stick with resale or you're wanting to stick with new construction. Now in 2025, like I said, we expect a stronger market. Prices will start going up in the spring. Of course, if that's the right time for you, then you just have to work with the market that you're in and time it. Then we can still get you some good discounts because I know we're still going to have a lot of inventory more than we normally have. As always, real estate is very hyper-local, hyper-situational. So if you want to talk about your situation or a specific part of town, please contact me using the links below and make sure you subscribe to this channel so you stay in tune with what's happening in Austin real estate.